Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Power Up. And for some of you, that is a very awkward sentence because it usually ends with the words foldable flight. And for some of you, you're like, who the heck is this guy? This is not shy. I do not know him. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, my name is Kyle Boyer. I am a professional paper airplane designer. Yes, that is literally what I do professionally. That is my full time job at this point. So, uh, Shy, knowing that, thought it would be an awesome idea for me to manage this YouTube channel and teach all of you a bunch of paper airplanes that work really, really well with the Power Up modules. So today, uh, the reason you clicked on this video, I assume, was to learn how to fold Empyreon 1, not to listen to me talk about who I am. So uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teach you how to fold this awesome plane that works with the Power Up 2.0, the 3.0, and the 4.0. So let's get started. All you will need in order to fold Empyreon 1 is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and a pair of scissors. And with that, we will begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. Okay, and at this point we will fold this top edge here to our folded edge and our crease could go, should go right through this top right corner. And I'll flip the paper over and fold the other side to match. This is my folded edge now. I'll fold the top edge to that edge. And now I can open the paper up into this orientation. The next step is to fold this top point down. And what I want to do is I want the folded edge that I am about to create to be about three quarters of an inch from this edge here. So it should look something like that. And you can see I'm close to three quarters of an inch. It does not have to be exact. And we can now open this up and open all the way back up to this orientation. And I wanna fold on that crease I actually just made and extend the crease all the way out to the edges of the paper. And now I want to reverse this crease here. This step is a little bit tricky. Basically, you can see it wants to bend in one direction, and I'm going to actually bend it in the opposite direction all along that crease. And you can see I'm going to push that crease all the way into this corner, and this corner of the paper is not going to want to lie flat just yet. So what I need to do is I'm going to collapse it and land the crease that's emanating from this corner here right on this edge there. and your paper should look just like this. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm reversing this crease here, making sure that crease goes all the way into the corner. And then I flatten this corner here to land this crease on this edge. And your plane should look like this. At this point, we're just going to fold corners here where we're landing this edge here, this really short edge on this crease, and you'll see exactly what I mean here. So it's just a little corner like that, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And your plane should look like this. At this point, we're going to fold a crease that goes from this point right here 45 degrees down like so. And the way we're going to do that is we're gonna grab this side and I want to land this edge here along the center crease of my plane. So you can see that edge is hidden right now. It's on the reverse side of the paper. As I fold it like so, I want to make sure I'm starting at that point and landing this edge all along the length of that center crease. And then I'll crease like so. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and just open that up and I'll repeat that step on the other side as well. And I'll open that up also. 
And now we're going to fold this edge here to land on this diagonal crease. And you can see it should look something like this. And I'll do the same thing on the other side as well, this edge to this diagonal crease. And your plane should look like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold this left side in like so. And when I fold the right side in, you'll see I have this tab that crosses the central uh, crease. And I can tuck that tab into this pocket on the left side. So as I fold this in, I can kind of push the tab down and swing it right into that pocket as I close the whole thing up. And that's going to lock our plane together beautifully. At this point, we can now just fold the plane in half like so on that existing center crease. And the next step is to fold the wings of our plane. You can see we're almost done here. And the wing crease is going to start just above the nose here. And it's going to go and it will intersect the back edge of our plane about an inch and a quarter from this corner right here. So I'll go ahead and make the crease and you can see about the size of the wings that I'm creating as I make this crease. So you can see that's about what one wing will look like. And when I open that up, you can see my crease started just above the nose and it's ending. I guess I folded my wing a little bit larger than I should have. It's fine. Anything in the range is going to work. And you can see it's a little bit more than an inch here and it can go all the way up to an inch and a quarter from this corner. So once I fold one wing, even though I didn't get it exactly where I was aiming it, I'll fold the other side to match because symmetry is very important. And the way I'm going to do that is I want to land this back corner of this wing on the back corner of my other wing. Like so. And now that I have my plane in this position, I'm going to actually go ahead and open the wings back up and we're going to now cut the notches out of the plane that are going to create our fins. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm pinching the paper here and keeping these two corners in alignment. And when I have the plane like that, I can now take my scissors and you can see we're kind of looking at this length of the paper right here from this corner to that corner there. And if you think it's about halfway you actually want to move back towards the trailing edge just a little bit from halfway along that length and then cut into the plane like this. You can see about how far I went there. You can go even a little farther than that, but be mindful the bigger the fins you are, you make, uh, you may push the center of the gravity too far back on the plane. So try to make it something similar to this and then I'll cut the notch right to that point and you can see here we've cut out the notch that are going, is going to allow us to create these fins. So now I'll fold my wing back down on either side and I want to fold the fin up and the crease that I make, I want the crease to run parallel to this crease here. And that's going to mean that my fin is parallel to the direction the plane will be flying in. And that is always a good thing. And I'll flip it over and fold the other fin to match. Now you can see I definitely could have cut larger fins than this. Um, even maybe a quarter inch in from where I am. But these fins look great and it's going to fly great as a result also. And all you have left to do, you can see this is a finished Imperion one. All that's left to do is connect our module. And you can see here, I have an awesome prototype of the 4.0, which uh, PowerUp just ran a Kickstarter for and uh, will be coming out eventually. It will also be available for pre-order on PowerUpToys.com. And you can see here, 
the plane looks excellent. It's going to fly really well for you also. So thank you so much for watching and good luck flying. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more amazing paper airplane content. And check out some of these other similar videos here on screen. I'll see you next time.